Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the detergent dispenser lever on your front load washer. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we need to remove the main top of the washer. So we'll need to pull it far enough forward that we can remove the retaining screws across the back. We'll also need to disconnect the power. So you either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Once we have access to the back of the washer, we're next going to remove three screws that secure that main top. These are normally either a seven millimeter or a number 20 Torx head screw. Once you've removed all three of them, we're simply going to pull back on that top about a half an inch or so until it clears the back of the console. Then we can lift it off and set it aside. If the lever on your washer is still intact, we'll need to remove it first. So we'll begin by removing the link. And in the hub of that, there will be two flexible tabs that we need to just compress enough that we can pop that up. So don't use any excess force on that, just enough to bend those tabs in one at a time. You can just pivot that out of the way. Now to remove that lever from the spindle at the back, you know there are four tabs on that end. It's easier if you loosen the two at the back. So take a thin blade screwdriver, just put a little bit of pressure upwards on that and carefully bend those tabs in. Once you have the two at the back started, you can move towards the front. We can then remove the defective lever, discard it. Now to retrieve the diverter that dropped down inside of the housing, we simply need to pull the detergent drawer out. Now to pull that detergent drawer completely out of the housing, we simply pull it out until it comes up against its stop. Then we'll depress this lever and slide it out the rest of the way. So then we can reach inside and retrieve that diverter. And you can retrieve that diverter and you'll note that amongst those four tabs, there's a large gap between two of them, and that's where that indicator tab will fit on the lever. So next, we're just going to reach inside of that housing and fit that up through the opening. And with one hand, hold that in place. We'll position the lever on top of it making sure we line up that locating tab and making sure that the pivot at the front is pointing up. And then just force it down into place. This requires a fair bit of force to push that down onto that shaft. Just work your way around it until it locks into place. Now we'll line up that front pin. And again, we're just going to snap that down into place. We'll replace the detergent drawer and then we're ready to put the main top on. Now when replacing that top, we want to make sure that these two tabs at the front sit down in underneath the edges of that plastic strip across the front. So we'll lay it evenly side to side and back about a half an inch from the back of the console. And just make sure it lays flush and you should be able to push it forward where it will engage that strip. And then we can put the three screws in. And now we're ready to reposition the washer. We can now push the washer back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.